There are inherent dangers in the oil and gas industry. You do what you can to hire the best and brightest. You put safety protocols in place, and you create programs to train your team on safe practices. Despite that, incidents can still happen. Finding a trusted partner can mean the difference between life and death. At RedGuard, we manufacture modular blast-resistant buildings. Our temporary and permanent modular buildings set the bar for blast protection. We believe our customers deserve to know how we determine that our spaces are safe and trusted. It starts with engineering and structural design, but it doesn't end there. Putting our designs to the test is part of the process. We call it being tested for life. To follow up a successful blast test we completed in 2007, we set out to prove what our engineering models told us, that steel blast resistant buildings were the best choice for safety. In 2020, we tested our structures in a remote area with hundreds of acres available, giving us plenty of space to create a massive explosion to emulate a large-scale blast on a hazardous worksite. To demonstrate the safety of our designs, we used two independent teams of expert engineers. In that test, we created what we believe is the largest scale blast test on a range of buildings. The first independent firm, an engineering firm specializing in analyzing and testing a variety of hazards, staged the explosion and provided a post-test assessment. The second independent firm advised us in testing, observed the explosion, and advised on building design. We know that when it comes to explosions, there are many factors at play, but distance is the big equalizer. We placed buildings at just 173 and 193 feet from what would be the explosion's epicenter. We put a crash test dummy in each building to detect if humans would have been injured in the explosion. The explosion employed a charge of 6,000 pounds of ammonium nitrate and fuel oil that created a 9.9 .9 PSI free field pressure blast at 24 milliseconds, simulating the damage of a very large explosion that could occur in a high hazardous process area. Through 34 channels of data, plus data from the crash test dummy, independent engineers concluded that our structures in both anchored and unanchored buildings had low responses. Low response means the buildings were largely undamaged. Each of them could still be occupied and in use after a blast of this kind. And other than possible ear injury, any human inside would have walked away from this large explosion. We're sometimes asked, what makes the difference? Time and again, we come back to our solid design and steel components. RedGuard buildings are built to withstand hazards using multiple redundancies to ensure safety. Each building has tightly spaced vertical stiffeners in the walls and horizontal stiffeners in the roof. In a redundant system like this, multiple components of the building would have to fail to constitute a complete building failure. Another component of safety is the dynamic load transfer, or flex, observed in RedGuard buildings. Flex is used to describe the way a steel wall quickly bends and retracts during a blast event. It can happen so fast that it's barely visible to the naked eye. But when steel flexes, it's actually absorbing the blast wave rather than reflecting it. Other buildings that use more brittle materials, think concrete, allow the blast wave to impact the walls but the stress of the blast is then focused on the building's connections or joints. Other companies may consider their design unmatched, staying static as the industry changes around them. At RedGuard, we're always growing our design and capabilities, adding value for our customers, and advancing the industry with new design techniques, like our anchoring and foundation designs. We take risks in testing so that our customers don't have to take real-world risks. We'd never sell a building that didn't pass the test. Mathematical models can predict how objects and structures will respond to a blast event, but testing is the key. When all is said and done, occupants of our buildings have peace of mind, knowing that they will go home safe at the end of the day.